Hey guys, I'm Cody, the Mind Past Life Pro, and for this tutorial, I thought I'd pass on the knowledge I've picked up within these few days on making normal maps and spec of the maps. Of course, all the people that helped turn my previous normal maps and spec of the maps videos comment section into a hive mind of information, thank you. But more so, I'd like to thank Strum355 for working with me directly and giving me the rundown on how the heck all this works. Without him, I probably would have made this video much later, but frankly, that comment section in itself, I almost considered it another language entirely. Anyways, thank you to everyone who supplied me with information. Now, I think you've waited long enough. Let's get started. As for the software we will be using, First one's Crazy Bump, and second one's Gimp. Gimp is free, but for Crazy Bump, you do get a 30 day free trial, so you do have that going for you. For those that have already exhausted their trial, buy it or borrow a friend's computer for a week and download it there. Alright, first have the texture you want ready to go on the desktop. For me, I'll be using this grass texture for this tutorial. As for how things are going to play out, first, I'll create a normal map to represent this texture. Then I'll do the same with two variants of specular maps, which you'll understand soon enough. The footage you're watching is an example of what I do to create the maps. If there's something I'd like to touch on, then of course, I'll let you know. Open up Crazy Bump. To have normal maps actually function with the parallax occlusional mapping feature in shaders, you will need to have the save normal map with displacement in alpha channel set to yes. As for the other settings, I don't know if they're important, but I'd recommend copying them as well. You can pick any of these shots. I doubt it matters much in the end. For these settings, adjust them as you see fit. They're pretty self-explanatory, so I don't think you'd have much trouble. One important thing to take into account is the normals and displacement menus both work together, but don't forget to export the map while using the normals tab. Always save using .png. For most people, including myself under some situations, this look of the grass might look quite suitable, but I actually think it best if I lessen the deepness effect. I mean, it looks like the grass is sinking into oblivion or something, so I'm gonna fix that. I'm copying the normal map for a reason. Of course, I don't need to, but you'll see why I did this in a bit. Open up GIMP. As for the method of lessening the active transparency, which is causing the deepness effect, I was recommended this method. Use the eraser tool, opacity around 30 to 40, that's my preference. Let's keep our brush size pretty large, and check anti-erase. I added two splashes, or clicks, to the normal map to apply the changes. This overwrite feature is what updates the original source file, in effect, turning it into what you just worked on. Let's move on to the first variant of specular maps that I'd like to show you. This one will allow you to place reflections on your blocks during any time of the day, even during rain. Crazy Bump is best used for this step, so open it up. Change the tab to Specularity. For here, you have your settings, which should be simple enough to understand, but usually I devote the most priority to the brightness and contrast parameters. Remember, white areas reflect light, whereas fully black areas reflect no light. Now, for the second variant of spec of the maps, which are basically normal maps painted green. These ones only show up during the rain. GIMP is best used for this step. Now, 
As for how much green color to add in, my preference generally stays at more of a darker tone. Maybe I could reason that I don't want to have that much reflectiveness since I'm going for a more realistic look, but it could be just me. You could also use the export as button, that works too. Now, as we come to the closing point of this tutorial, I do hope you learned a thing or two on the process of creating normal maps and specular maps. If you have any questions, then do leave them in the comment section down below. And one final thing, you guys are gonna love this. While I was learning how to create these maps for this tutorial, I did successfully refine and perfect some textures in the Chroma Hills resource pack. So if you'd like to check them out, then do go take a look at the description of this video. I've listed my recommended normal maps, specular maps of both variants, and even the original maps that I built in this tutorial. It will be listed as all maps, parentheses, past life pro. For those that got this far, or people who just simply checked the description early, this one is for you. If this how to make normal maps and specular maps tutorial was of any use to you, then do hit that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys.